can I tell you a story? How this all started? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. How I got interested in being a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Okay, this goes back a lot of years. Normally they come in the side door. This is Charlene's Beauty Salon. I was like in second or third grade. My mom had a stick mop and I would take clothespins and roll each piece of yarn up in the clothespins and then I'd stick it in the fence posts in the sun and I'd take them out and we had this curly mop. No one else in the block had one. <laughs> that was the beginning and then I did go to beauty school and got a real dryer. You could tell a lot about people once their hair is wet. That's why I would miss this. Probably not the work so much, it's the people. Gee, I still all that. The street. Yeah, meatballs the going next down door came right oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let me see, I'm still the youngest one here, right? <laughs> but say, we're young and what would you, what would you all three say makes Charlene's salon special. Charlene. Oh my God. Charlene. Charlene. Yeah. Charlene. Oh my God. And, and like Peter, a family Peter, it's here. not yeah. just the shop. It's we she, have a lot of fun together. You know how she is. She, she <laughs> just can't do enough for everybody. You couldn't get a better friend than Charlene. And that love comes off of her like a big glow. Who do you come to? You come to Charlene. <laughs> you know? When you're happy, when you're sad, she don't just do our hair. We tell secrets about our families on each other's shoulders. Oh yeah, how many times? How many times? The people around her are really blessed to be her friend. You make me cry. That's one thing I said I wish I could change that my bladder's in my eyes. My goal in life was to be a wife and a mom. So this was the best of both worlds. I could be a working mom, but I still stayed home. Never made a ton of money, but it works. I loved it. So, let me tell you, I was born. No, she wasn't. She was hatched. We had nothing. Well, we, we didn't had it know all. it. I was just going to say, and we didn't know it. We always had such a good time. Always plenty of food. And lots of love. And lots of love and lots of laughs. This is Christmas at our house. These people are all gone now. When my mother got sick, Elle and I lit, had our own place. We moved in so that I could take care of her. Um, she died and we stayed on and two years later my dad died and my sister was still a young kid. So we stayed, and we just made one big happy family. My mother would be so proud of my sister. She is so much like my mother. It's unbelievable. The way she takes people in and makes everybody feel very, very comfortable and very welcoming. That's the important thing in life, to be loved and to tell people that you care about That's as you right. do. So today she's gonna show up and she's gonna be very surprised. She doesn't know everyone's coming to see her today. She might have a She's gonna bawl her eyes out and that's, that's Charlene to a T. There were some people who wanted to say thank you to you for everything you've done for them. And uh, here they are. Oh my gosh! Yay. Oh. <laughs> this isn't happening. It's not happening. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's all good. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Can I bring something? I just sat beside you. I couldn't wait to breathe. <laughs> this is my whole life of people that I love so much. I've been so fortunate, so now you pay it forward because you had this good thing in your life, so now you have to give it to someone else.